a shark swims along the sea floor. Did you know that sharks are one of the oldest animals on the planet? Some of these shark species have been around for more than 400 million years. That means that sharks hung out with the dinosaurs. Okay, not these specific sharks, but their ancestors did. Caption, there are over 500 species of sharks in the ocean. A large shark glides over a rocky hollow. Silkies, Galapagos, blacktips, and hammerheads all call the eastern tropical Pacific home. See how many different types you can spot. The shark turns and propels itself away. In another area, a hammerhead. You can tell them apart by their size, shape, fins, color. Hammerheads are one of the easiest to pick out. Caption, there are nine species of hammerhead sharks. A graphic of a hammerhead. That distinctive long, wide head gives them the ability to see almost 360 degrees when they move their heads from side to side. This helps them spot their prey. If you were to brush a hammerhead backwards, it would feel like sandpaper. That's because a shark's skin is more like teeth or fingernails. But from front to back, it would feel sleek and durable. And that's one reason they can swim so fast. Caption, maximum speed of a hammerhead equals 40 kilometers per hour. Unlike many other fish, sharks don't have a swim bladder, which is an air sac that fills and empties to help the fish move up and down. Instead, sharks can use their pectoral fins, the ones on the side, for lift, like an airplane, so they can move freely up and down in the water column. The graphic highlights the side fins. And those notorious dorsal fins? That's what helps old sharks make quick, sharp turns. The fin on the shark's back is highlighted. Like many sharks, hammerheads also rely on smaller fish to clean them, biting parasites off their skin. See if you can spot one that is getting cleaned. A shark cruises over the rocky bottom. A gray fish with a flat face swims alongside and nips something off the shark's back. It's a myth that sharks can detect blood from kilometers away. But it is true that they have an extremely powerful sense of smell. If you were to put a drop of fish oil in a large swimming pool, some sharks could smell it. Yellow lines glow on the hammerhead's nose. And a hammerhead's nostrils, like its eyes, are spread out, so it can smell in stereo. But there's something else about that nose. It contains tiny electromagnetic sensors. They can use these to find food, like fish, that try to hide in the sand. And there's more. Scientists speculate that shark might use these sensors to navigate long distances, sensing changes in the Earth's electromagnetic field. It's like a shark radar. All these awesome features? That's how sharks have survived over hundreds of millions of years, by adapting to stay atop of the food chain. But while they may be an apex predator under the surface, there is a dangerous threat to sharks that comes from above. Humans. Sharks are killed for their fins and meat. The scalloped hammerhead is now endangered. And sharks are crucial to a balanced ecosystem. Without them, smaller predators will be left unchecked, potentially wiping out the smallest fish. And without the smallest fish to feed on it, algae could grow out of control, choking out other life. Which is why we're here, to figure out where these sharks migrate, when, and why. So they can survive and help keep our oceans, and our planet, healthy and safe. A hammerhead swims away through a school of fish. 